What's pop the nasty gang? It's your girl Jay Nasty on the mic. And as you can see right behind me, we have the new official revealed trailer for Arnie the Sims Plus new mod pack. So today he revealed the theme of the new mod pack and it is freaking exciting, okay? I'm just gonna put that out there. So in this video, I'm gonna go through the trailer, discuss some things, and then we're gonna head on over to his Patreon and check out more notes and details about the pack. And I'm so excited for you guys to see what it is if you haven't already, but I'm sure a lot of you have already checked out his video. The link to his Patreon is gonna be in my description box, so make sure to check that out. And also show some love downstairs by liking the video for me. Comment down below any questions questions, concerns, anything like that that you may have. And also subscribe if you already have it to become part of the Nasty Gang family because we have a lot of fun in this channel if you can't already tell. Let's get into the video. I ain't trying to hurt nobody. I'm just trying to be somebody. I ain't trying to hurt. All right, you guys. Arnie the Sims Plus has just released the new mod pack that he's coming out with in March 2021. And you guys will not believe what he's creating. And I'm just going to get right into it and let you guys know it's a farm, a farm pack. So it's going to be the Sims 4 Farmland. That's the name of the new pack. And if you want to follow any updates and development, then go head on over to his Patreon and subscribe. Support him and his hard work because he really deserves it. But yes, this pack is not going to be out until March. So... Arnie has created a semi-open world. Now, I'm not exactly sure what this means. I think it's going to be something along the lines of Brook Heights. You know, Brook Heights tries its best to mimic Sims 3 open worlds. However, it's not a duplicate of the Sims 3 open world. You can't do everything that you used to be able to do. He just did his very best to replicate it. So by semi-open world, I'm assuming that we can travel all over the map like we can in Brook Heights and access certain buildings, but I'm not exactly sure. What I don't really notice are animals. So I'm going to be uh, keeping an eye the next loop around to see if we see any animals in this pack because I didn't really notice any. Although I do know that modders have tried to use the cat and dog pack to try to replicate that um, via CC and mods and things like that. So I don't know if Arnie's actually going to put in farm animals. So that will be completely amazing if he does. But like I said, I'm going to try to peek back here and see if I notice any farm animals. I do see that freaking windmill that is super adorable. Oh my goodness. And a tractor. That's the little toy tractor I think that the kids play with just sides up and functional. Why else would he show us a tractor riding through the farm? Yeah, I did not see any animals. That's the only thing, but it's okay. I'm fine with that because not for nothing, I like farming to grow plants in this game. I've always been a big fan of like Harvest Moon and Stardew Valley, things like that, where you got to grow plants and crops and live off the land and farm. I really, really enjoy that. So I am especially excited for this. I am so hyped. You have no idea. All it's missing to me is just a few animals, but I'm going to head on over to Patreon and see what's up, see if he has any further information for us. All right, y'all, so it does look like we have a public update on his Patreon here. Announcing the Sims 4 Farmland. Dear beloved Simmers, I'm extremely excited to reveal the theme of my next mod pack that you voted for in the last community survey. It is the second day of my holiday calendar, and today's present is a teaser video. Say hello to the Sims 4 Farmland. You will have a big part in this development of this mod pack that already started a few weeks ago by choosing yourself some features of the pack in the upcoming Patreon polls. Oh my god, that's so exciting. We actually were able, and by we I mean his patrons, were able to choose the theme of the next mod pack because he put out a poll and everyone voted. I myself chose school pack because I'm a loser, but Farmland is <laughs> definitely close second, so I'm so happy with it not disappointed at all what is it about the sims or farmland is a new mod pack that will include a new semi-open world a mix between how the worlds work in the sims 4 and how brook heights work okay that explains it i like that i like that you have five lots in the middle of the world visible from the 2d map view where your sims can live but all around them is a giant interactive open area with the farm where you can harvest vegetables and cereal go to school work marry your sims in the love temple go to shops, restaurants, and much more without a loading screen. Oh, snap. So that's what it is then. So five entire lots. You have five lots to play with, and everything around it is the open world. Wow. Oh, my God. That is amazing. I'm so excited. Like, he outdid himself. Five entire lots for you to build and create on. So you can have five families or five whatever you want because he added 
all the essential buildings all around it, like a school, restaurant, and shops. Like, that is amazing. Culture. This gorgeous world, which recycles a neighborhood of Brindleton Bay, interesting, is inspired by Italian, Slovenian, Swiss, and American landscapes. Oh, I love that. So it's definitely cultured, like not just American. Like The Sims 4, I hear, is very Americanized. And I'm American, so I can't really tell the difference, but it looks normal to me, which is the problem, I guess. Farming. Build your own farm and harvest vegetables or cereals. Own farm animals and sell your fresh products at the farmer's market or directly to the grocery stores or malls around the world. That's really, really cool. Grow some love for your animals and work to provide the best products and make a living out of it. You can even own a vineyard and make the best wine in the entire world. Yo, that's a my feature right there because I'm a wino. And by wino, I just mean I really, really like wine. <laughs> but I also like beer and liquor as well, so whatever. So, and it does say animals here, if you guys notice. It says, grow some love for your animals. So maybe that's why it's gonna take so long because he's actually creating animals and that's why we don't see any in this trailer. Story mode. A new story mode lets you follow the adventures of a farmer who will discover many secrets in this valley, inspired from the Sims 3 World Adventures. Oh my god. Actually, okay, I lied. F the wine. That's the coolest feature. Because I'm a sucker for story mode. I like having a purpose and going through and fulfilling certain tasks. And I always play the story mode in every single game I get. Regardless if they're sandbox, open world, or online, I always make sure to complete story mode. Stay tuned and follow the development adventure here or on Twitter via at the Sims underscore plus. I hope you guys like this teaser. I can't wait to share more about this upcoming mod pack. Lots of love, Arnie. Oh my God, I can't wait either. Of course, I'm a patron of his. I support him. I support his hard work and I'm so excited. Take your time, Arnie, if you happen to see this video, which I doubt it because I've never actually talked to him before, but I'm a huge fan, okay? <laughs> I'm not crazy. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. That was a lot, a lot, a lot to unpack. And I just want to get this out ASAP for those of you who are interested in this pack, looking to know more, or just want to hear some open discussions, things like that. Feel free to hit me up in the comment sections with your thoughts and opinions. I would love to chat about it with you guys because I'm so excited. And I know a lot of people are going to be excited too. So definitely make sure to show some love downstairs by liking the video for me and comment down below. Also, subscribe if you already haven't to become part of the Nasty Gang family because we have a lot of fun on this channel, if you can't already tell. Be sure to check out my channel for more Brook Heights videos, updates, news, and how-tos. I have all things Brook Heights on my channel. And that's going to be it for me today, guys. Jay Nasty out. Peace and love. You could be the queen, I'll be Rosé. The river da, river da, river da, river da. When I get my engine started, dude, I'm finna rev it up. You want me to behave, but I ain't fake, can't switch up.